What are we making today? Okay, so today we are making strawberry lemon hand pies. And what I love about these is it is like this nostalgic thing. There's something about these pies that remind me of my childhood. I can't wait for you to bite into them. Did you read this recipe? Did you make this recipe? Did you have it in childhood? Did you find it somewhere? Where is the origin? So we have a little sweet truck at the silos that we call Maggie for short for Magnolia. And that's our sweet truck. And it's kind of this nostalgic food truck that's got all these hand pies. People could do this with their kids. They could do this in the kitchen. Like it's very simple. Teach me. And I'm all about desserts and food that you can just get the basics and then modify it however you like. So we're doing strawberry and lemon, but you, the sky's the limit on how you fill these things. So you could do blueberry and Gruyere if you Anything were like Anything you want, it. yes. So today we're gonna be doing strawberry, lemon. The first thing we're gonna make is the filling. Okay, let's do this. So it's the strawberries. Um, depending on if strawberries are in season, you can, it's just two cups of whole strawberries or two cups of frozen strawberries. Just turn that up just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to, these are frozen strawberries. So I thawed them just a little bit, but you just wanna dump that. What's the, the best way? Oh yeah, baby. Well, that was on and a little warm. So let's What's the best way to heat. thaw a frozen strawberry? You just let them, I just let them sit out for a second. Okay, these are absolutely, the smell. Oh, that smell is so good. Coming from here is so good. So just stir that around. We're gonna add a third cup of the sugar. Okay, add in this cornstarch, it's two tablespoons, and that's gonna be the thing that thickens this. So there's a roux yes. component. And then as this gets warm, we just wanna break down the strawberries because again, this is the filling. So it's gonna be more like a jam or a jelly. Mm. So now that it's kind of bubbling up, we can cut the heat. And now look. It's magically chilled and finished. But this is our filling. See, this this is the beauty though. This is the beauty. There we go. Um, Nothing to see. This is here. our little egg wash. All right, I see you fork ready? marks too, which yeah, I'm excited to do. This is fun. Do. So we're so the dough's already been made, but what I love the about made. this dough is it's kind of your typical pie crust, but it's I've added eggs and a little milk to make it a little more flaky. So you can see I well, like flaky. Flakier. That, I want like a crescent roll. Yes. So that egg is what makes it a little flakier. So now the dough is one of those things that would have taken an hour to chill. So we just went ahead and did that. I it's done. That. Magic of TV. We are going to fill these little pies with about a tablespoon of the filling. Hold on. We're going to, let's brush those edges first. So they don't, um, you and know. And just do one, one side. So that's going to be what seams them together. So let's just brush the edge. Just the edges. Just, uh-huh. Like sealing an envelope. Yep, and you're just gonna do it on this top layer. And then we're gonna fill on the inside of that little border, mm -hmm. not a tablespoon. What's a style you wanna bring back? What's a style you want to go away? <laughs> That's a good question. Let me fill my berries. Um, a style that I wanna bring back, I think like as I, you know, I look at, I have a bunch of old design books. I don't even know. I just love to open them up and see. And I think what I love is that curiosity, that in some ways that quirkiness, that randomness. I feel like homes have just gotten so, at least what we see. They're very cookie lot, cutter. Is it's, it's very, it's almost predictable now. And I think it's like, let's bring back that like um predictability, you know, and I think it's a balance of, you know, for us, I work with clients. And so at the end of the day, I give the client what they want, but the, the fun is in the, especially the projects we get to do ourselves, that it's, it's just more like, Hey, we're going to sell this later. So mm -hmm. I can kind of just be as wild as I want. Watch what I'm doing here. Just pushing down and you just pull out like that. You want to just make sure drew that that filling doesn't ooze out. So by sealing this yeah. with that egg wash, pat, 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 Okay, so look, we're gonna just give this a cutie little border. Uh-oh, I'm oozing, Joe. It's okay. Go like this really quick. Boop. Just do like four, and that just allows the filling to breathe when you have it in Okay, the what's your happily ever after? Oh, oh. I think we always say this. We're like that we're sitting on that same porch in those rocking chairs, watching the sun go down and say, we did it well. All our kids off and gone in a really healthy, good way, but saying we did it well. That's it. It's very simple. And you but we're still holding that. hands and we still really like each other. <laughs> Please, God. Oh, 
and ugh. See, I'm so aggressively single, but when I'm around you and Chip, it makes me go, I got to, uh, maybe I should spreadage my wingage. Spreadage your wingage. Like, he still says I love you all oh, the time. Kisses and I love you. Can you he teach really me? Is, I, I'm like, you need to just write a book on how to treat a I mean, he's just and so. And put a real sexy picture could, of yourself yeah, well, on the cover. Just use that same cover. It's like thirst trap. <laughs> Chip <laughs> Gaines for thirst that. trap. He would love that. Um, he's just a doll. He's sweet.